Very impressive. Yo, 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 this is your boy Kevin Joseph, a.k.a. King Charisma, a.k.a. The Charismatic Wonder Man, a.k.a. Chicka, 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 black some shady, how y'all doing? Welcome to another new episode of Unboxing Sessions. If you missed my last episode, we unboxed the Superman, the Complete Animated Series, six disc collector's edition on Blu-ray and digital copy. Um, that was a pretty good episode, especially if you grew up with a show... Um, since you were like three, four years old. So I was really excited to do that episode. But if you have not seen that episode, definitely check that out before you watch this episode. For tonight's episode on session number 145. So man, we're about 55 episodes away to make it to 200. So that's, that's ridiculous. I can't believe it. We're almost close to that. Um, for tonight's episode on session number 145, we're going to unbox two movies that I saw in theaters last year that I really enjoyed. Um, one of the movies is a superhero movie, and I know a lot of people enjoyed it. It's a Marvel flick. The other movie um, was directed by Ridley Scott, and this one had a lot of action and a lot of drama in it. So if you have not seen that movie we're about to discuss you definitely need to check it out, especially if you like things talking about point of views and stuff. Well, we're going to unbox first Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home in 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray and digital copy. And then we are going to unbox The Last Duel, starring Ben Affleck, uh, Matt Damon, Jodie Comer, and Adam Driver. So like I said before, um, superhero movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, I have to say, it said on the front cover that this is the best Marvel movie of all time. And that's pretty true. I would put this in my top three or top five. Um, Tom Holland really stepped his game up in this movie. I remember when I saw um, Homecoming, um, I was a little, I guess, kind of, I was a little worried because I didn't know how well he was going to do Spider-Man. I remember seeing him in Captain America Civil War. I was like, okay, he's a little spunky, funny, younger um, than the other actors that played Spider-Man before him. Um, so I was a little worried when I saw Homecoming. But when I saw Homecoming, I was like, okay, he's stepping his game up. Um, and then I saw... Um, Far From Home, he really upped his game. This movie, he really turned it by 100. So um, if you have not seen this movie, you need to check it out. I know a lot of people saw it in theaters, and trust me, it is a blast. So you need to check this out. The Last Duel, oh my goodness. Like Jodie Comer, uh, one of the main characters in this film, I don't know why she couldn't even get uh, Best Actress, why she didn't even get nominated for it at the Oscars this year, because she did a phenomenal job. Um, and if you like medieval movies and stuff, you definitely need to check this out. This is based on a true story, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, so yeah, definitely check this out. But yeah, these are two movies that we are going to be unboxing for tonight. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so here's one of the... Um movies that we are going to be unboxing this is the front cover for spider-man no way home um what i like about the cover of this this is a walmart exclusive edition of the front cover so the front cover you see um tom holland uh playing as peter parker a like new york city is kind of targeting him um from the events that happened in um the last one um far from home if you have not seen Far From Home, definitely need to check it out before you see No Way Home. And that's the events that happen is going to lead up to what happens in this movie. But yeah, this, like I said, this has to be one of my favorite Marvel Studio films and basically Marvel films because uh, the story is amazing. And if you're not a big Spider-Man fan such as myself then it's it's really difficult to comprehend why Spider-Man is probably one of 
why he's a popular superhero because it's more about you know what it takes to be a superhero that you are responsible for things and this movie teaches you about responsibility so i really enjoyed it and like i said tom holland upped his game um just to show you um um you know like the front cover showing peter parker's face and spider-man's face cut um you know giving you like a reference from the comics if you read uh the comics from Sp the amazing spider-man um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it says over 80 minutes of bonus content, bloopers and gag reel, Spider-Man Unite and more. Um, so that's pretty nice. And then you got your back cover showing your main characters. You got Tom Holland, um, playing as Peter Parker, AKA Spider-Man. Then you got Benedict Cumberbatch, who's playing, uh, Dr. Stephen Strange, AKA Dr. Strange. And then you got um, Zendella playing as MJ. And then you got one of the villains, um, Jamie Foxx playing as uh, Max, a.k.a. Electro. So that's pretty nice. Oh, and you got Green Goblin. <laughs> wow. See, look at that. Green Goblin. And then you got the mechanical uh, arms uh, from Dr. Ock or Dr. Ock. Yeah, Doc Doc Ock, I believe. But yeah, you got your back cover just explaining details of what's going on in the movie. Um, you are going to get 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital copy code for the movie. So that's pretty nice. And do not ask me for the code because I will be using it. Um, and then you got Spider-Man. This is the front cover. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Like I said, uh, if you want to get this cover, you have to get the Walmart edition of the 4K Ultra HD. I think I like this one better than the actual front cover for the 4K Ultra HD because this one looks pretty nice and it shows you what you're going to be expecting in this movie. But, um, yeah, you got Spider-Man, um, and then you got like all the cities flowing around. That's pretty nice. Cover. I'll take the code out, and then you got your discs. You got your Blu-ray disc um, featuring Spider-Man, and then yep, you got one of the baddies himself. You got Doctor Otto Octavius, aka Doc Ock. That's the 4K Ultra HD disc. So that's pretty cool. And like I said, you, are, you will be getting a digital copy code that I will not be showing. Okay, so that was Spider-Man No Way Home. Next movie we are going to unbox, like I said, um, probably one of the best movies, I believe, of last year, of 2021, would have to be The Last Duel. This was directed by um, Ridley Scott, who's directed a lot of great films like uh, Gladiator, Alien, um, you know, other films like that. Um, this is based on a true story. This is says the true story of a woman who defied a nation and made history. So pretty much the movie takes place in medieval times. And basically Jodie Comer's character plays the wife of Matt Damon's character. I forgot. I can't really say their names right because it's kind of French or whatever. So I'm sorry if I can't say it, but basically her character, um, she basically is accused of being raped and by Matt Damon's character's best friend played by Adam Driver. And basically what's going on is his character challenges um, his character to a duel. And because this was taking place during medieval times and this was taking place where Christianity was going on, basically the whole... Um, uh, dilemma was this was basically if he um, beat him in the duel then not only his life would be um, would be gone basically her life would be taken away um, so all three of them their lives were judged basically by God from the movie Ben Affleck's character is like the sneaky guy who's like working for him um, so like I said, if you not seen the last duel, definitely check it out. Um, it is pretty cool. The action scenes are amazing and the drama is pretty insane. 
Um, so you got your back cover. You got one of the main characters played by Jodie Comer. She, like I said, like I said, I think she should have won Best Actress. She should have gotten nominated. So I don't know why. Um, you know, that's why I don't really wa like watching Oscars because they really ruin things. Uh, but that's just me. You know, that's just my opinion. Um, so, yeah, you got back cover of it. And then take you out. We got digital copy code I will not show. And then you got the Blu-ray disc. And then you got your, and I like the tech, I love the um, graphics from the from this disc. That's pretty cool. Um, if you've not seen the trailer for The Last Duel, check it out. I definitely like the score of it. Um, if, no, any, if anyone knows a score for the trailer for this movie, definitely um, comment it to me because I really want to get it because it sounds so cool. But it brings so much emotion for this movie. So I really cannot wait to watch it uh, or rewatch it again. So but other than that, yep, um, this is The Last Duel. And that's it for the two movies that we just unboxed. So we got Spider-Man No Way Home. And then the last duel. So I hope you guys enjoy me unboxing uh, Marvel Studios, Spider-Man, No Way Home, and then The Last Duel. Uh, like I said before, these are two amazing movies that you guys definitely need to check out if you have not seen them in theaters. Um, and like I said, you can pick it up on... Um, 4k ultra hd blu-ray digital copy so that's pretty nice um hope you guys enjoyed that episode make sure you like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel also follow me at king charisma 27 on instagram at king charisma 27 on twitter at king charisma 22 on snapchat and at king kev 25 on tiktok very important um i've noticed i've gained and lost followers so um, definitely follow my content. I know I don't post too much and I know I usually do like WCWs and all that stuff. So I apologize. Um, but definitely check out more of my content. Um, I know I don't post too much. Uh, it's just, you know, with me working so much and everything, it's really hard. So I apologize. Hopefully with new music videos and special announcements and stuff coming up, you know, uh, I'll definitely be posting a lot more this year. Other than that, you know, I just post what I can. So, um, what I was going to say, uh, like I said on my previous episode, um, definitely check out my Patreon account. The link is below the video. Um, donate between at least a dollar, five dollars for me. That would be great. Like I said before, I will be doing more web series, um, you know, for more stuff. So, you know, uh, movie reviews, game streaming, um, anything in particular, just talking about life as it is. Uh, definitely um, stay tuned for all of that. Like I said, I've been very busy working um, and it's really weird not being able to make a whole lot of videos you know, every week, so I apologize, but I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I know with everything going on, you know, we're all struggling, but let's just keep it together. And I pray that you all are um, making it through. Uh, other than that, uh, again, thank y'all for always support me. Uh, something special is going to be coming up soon, a special anniversary um, later on this month. So I cannot wait to share it and maybe announce a special contest. So definitely stay tuned for that. Other than that, uh, thank you guys for another great episode of Unboxing Sessions, and I'll see you next time. If you smell the king is cooking, talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.